Yeah, uh, I'm interested in this new brand. We will be covering it, of course. We've got some of the information up. I mean, WWE, it's funny, I always joke. You know, sometimes I'll get answers back from WWE PR, although this week they've been nothing but pleasant to deal with. When they want to get something out there, they get a hold of you before you get a hold of them. Mm -hmm. Before I can even process what's going on, it's like, bam, WWE PR has a press release set up. It was like that for the Australia Super Show, which we were about to talk about, and uh, as well as this UK stuff. WWE heading to Australia. For those of you uh, wondering, it is the other end of the country from Anna, because I already looked into it, and I was like, hey, maybe that's near her. Of course, you know, surely Australia is the size of a shopping mall. I've known her for two <laughs> years now, and she constantly tells me that it's not, but maybe it is. No, it, it's like... It's all the way on the other end of the country from her. It's, so it's like a two hour drive, I'm sure. It's a it's pretty small. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're doing a super show over there. Undertaker, yes. Triple H, last time ever, they say. Well, well, sh sure, why not? I mean, it should be. My God, it should be, but but who knows? You know, if, if Vince if, if it goes over well and Vince is like, ah, oh, let's do it again. We'll just do it, because that's what happens. Um I'm 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 much more excited uh, to watch this show because, as far as I know, uh, Australia isn't involved in a proxy wars where they're starving the population. So, so I don't have to feel bad about like rooting, like watching and supporting this They've thing. They've done some so. pretty cool stuff politically of late, actually. Yeah, <laughs> this is, so it's good. I can support. I feel like I can support them without feeling bad. Uh, and yeah, that's good. Um, I, I'm I'm looking forward to seeing what if this is just another. Uh, greatest Royal Rumble, as far as like it being a house show, really with like no title, uh, no title uh, exchanges, and um, it really not meeting anything. Like, um, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, the matches may may be good, or they may be like like we saw. We were really hoping for that great IC title fatal four way ladder match, and it was like, hey, we climbed a ladder kind of, and then we knocked it over, and it kind of grazed us. It wasn't really a ladder match. It was a thing that you would do on a house show. So we'll see what happens with this uh, Australian thing. But fingers crossed. Yeah, the comparisons I made to the Greatest Royal Rumble ladder match was basically the first one. And I, when I say the first one, I mean Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart on Coliseum Video first one. Mm -hmm. Not it was. This is what a ladder match is. Mm -hmm. The very structure of a ladder match. Uh, David Tease, who does a ton of coverage for us, and actually right after covering Raw, he'll be covering Kazuna Road Day 4 for us at 5.30 in the morning. I said, you covering this one live? And he said, damn Skippy. <laughs> so there you go. And, of course, we will have a post show when that happens.